We're in West London at the Carnival Pioneers Community Day, remembering the women pioneers who gave birth to and nurtured Notting Hill Carnival, turning it from a local street party in 1973 into an international festival. A lot of the women, they are the backbones to the culture, you know, whether it's, it's the mass designing, whether it's to put on events, whether it's the actual singers. So I think it's very important that we highlight these pioneers for the culture and we make not only the carnival community but others aware of who are the founders and who these ladies are, you know. I think it's very important to celebrate the women because the women are always behind the men supporting their work and for them to celebrate the women today is really important. Tribute to founding mothers is so exciting and I think appropriate in terms of the particular role that women have played in establishing carnival which came from very modest beginnings and we know how massive it is today. I went to talk to two founding mothers to find out more about the role they played in establishing Notting Hill Carnival and to find out just how far it's come. It's really good now that people are looking back and recognising the contribution that the women made. At the time when I became involved, there weren't many women involved in Carnival. I was one woman amongst many macho men and being secretary it was about multitasking. Well, I did all the reporting, I did all the budgets and all the finance. My role was actually keeping it alive. I worked full time as a hospital midwife and then as a hospital manager, but every evening I used to go to the mass camp and cook because it was the only way we could really say thanks to people who helped. When the riots in 1976 happened, it was a shock because we thought that we had a good relationship with the police. But the investigation revealed that it wasn't a riot started by people. It was planned. The relationship between the police and the community has changed Vastly. It was a very different sense of community. There was no route. We went all through the streets, All Saints Road, Lancaster Road, everywhere. It would be half 11 before we got back to the Moscow. <laughs> Notting Hill Carnival has become an integral part of British history, rising through racial tension and deprivation. Although hundreds have contributed, it would not be where it is today without the women pioneers who have worked to sustain and develop what is now an international festival. To all the women whose names were never mentioned, I am delighted that now the contribution of women in Notting Hill Carnival is being recognised.